Welcome to our Google Maps webinar, Navigating Success, Google Maps API Innovations and Insights. We are excited to have you join us. Over the next hour, we'll explore how to integrate and innovate with Google Maps to transform your business. You will hear from our expert speakers, learn from real life business scenarios, and have the opportunity to ask any questions during the Q&A session. So let's get started. Let me introduce you to our speakers. Today, we have two Google Maps experts joining us, Yulia, Implementation Specialist at CloudFresh, and Oleksandr, Sales Executive at CloudFresh. Yulia, Oleksandr, thank you for joining us today. Before we jump into the webinar, I would like to take a moment to introduce you to CloudFresh. CloudFresh is a global partner of Google Cloud, Zendesk, Asana, GitLab, Microsoft, and Okta. We are trusted by more than 1,400 customers from over 50 countries. We are proud to have worked with top tier companies in various industries. Over the years, companies such as Deloitte, PwC, Vodafone, Forbes, and many others have chosen CloudFresh for their cloud solutions. When it comes to Google Maps platform, by working with CloudFresh, you can get access to value added benefits such as proof of concept, special discounts, professional support, flexible payments, personalized multilingual support, and so much more. We are very grateful that you have taken the time to join us here today, and that's why we would like to present you with a special offer, a free Google Maps strategy session. It's a two-part personalized consultation where we dive deep into your business model and help you explore how Google Maps technology can drive your business growth and improve customer satisfaction. To claim this offer, simply scan this QR code that you can see now on your screen and fill out the form. For your convenience, I will also share the link here in the chat. And we have one more surprise for today. We are offering these amazing gifts to the most active participant. So don't hesitate, ask any questions you may have, be active, and you might be just lucky enough to win these gifts. And the winner will be chosen by our speakers at the end of this webinar. And I'm passing this mic to our first speaker, Yulia. The floor is yours. Thank you, Anastasia. So, hi, everyone. I'm so happy to have you all here at our webinar. Your presence indicates a shared passion for innovation and staying updates with the latest in technology, much like myself, actually. In fact, I have so much to share that we have had to trim down uh, our presentation a bit before. Honestly, I could talk about updates uh, and Google Maps for days. So uh, let's start. And uh, actually, I am confident that you all understand the importance of keeping a finger on the pools in business. By using the latest features and innovation, we can create truly exciting value for our customers and staying ahead in the market and enhancing our existing offering. It's all about caring of our business, our customers, and uh, our product, actually. Uh, wouldn't you agree? Uh, so, for, uh, however, uh, we all know that the daily business demands can be overwhelming and making it physically impossible to stay informed about every update. That's where CloudFresh come in, and uh, I have already done the homework for you. Uh, additionally, I would like to remind you about our um, uh, Google Maps strategy session, like Anastasia said, because we physically can't cover everything on our webinar. So we proposed and uh, custom means, especially for your business or ideas. Uh, so here we will talk more customized about that. So, Let's start about the biggest news. Uh, so Google Maps just added new path of service. It's called environment. And here quite um, really interesting API like air quality, solar API, and pollen API. Uh, we can use uh, this API in uh, various uh, applications like in health, like in uh, real estate, uh, building development, etc. So we will talk 
a bit more about all of them. So first, it's a solar API. Uh, so Google Maps provides a new API, and here we can uh, just find data about uh, data layers and building insights. So it's our API endpoints. And uh, using these endpoints, we can uh, save uh, time and money for uh, installing a solar panel and uh, calculate uh, investment and calculate just returns uh, from solar uh, panels, etc. So let's talk a little bit uh, more technical. So if, uh, uh, data layers just returning the TIFF file, uh, which we can use to uh, find a lot of uh, data, like a uh, location. So here we will have a longitude, latitude, and postal code, region, uh, buildings area, and also here a lot of useful information about rooftop data. So it's uh, about uh, total rooftop area. It's a picture of rooftop. Uh, it's an area usable for solar uh, because sometimes here are uh, some uh, um, uh, roofs uh, where we just can't uh, install in solar panels by using that API we just can't understand uh, what um, definitely we can install and actually it's a, a roof planner uh, segments and um, uh, height, pitch, and azimuth of solar activity. And also using the uh, solar API, we can find information about hourly uh, history solar activities. So uh, using that information, we also can uh, provide um, information about uh, forecast about solar activity. And also we can plan uh, our uh, energy receiving in uh, future. So using the solar API, we can just calculate information, uh, which investition we need, and also we can find information how much solar energy we will receive after. And uh, about it, at Solar Financial, uh, now it's available in uh, USA only, but uh, it's pretty easy to create it because uh, solar api returning all needed data they just don't have information about some uh, incentives uh, about renewal energy in europe and when you have that information in your company you just can create that application and provide the financial for your customer it's pretty simple uh, formula you just receiving can uh, all forecast you receiving information about solar activity and then just calculate the financial value for that uh, so uh, actually it can be highly uh, beneficial for a variety of industries including and uh, retail companies real estate firms solar panel installers of course and uh, some building developers uh, it's also in, uh, available for lifestyle and green energy uh, population application, for example, as well as uh, energy providers, for instance, and um, uh, for example, actually, it's a leading energy producer in Japan. Uh, they have developed an application that calculates the investment and saving uh, associated with using kind of solar panels. Uh, this actually demonstrates the diverse uh, application and potential of the solar API in driving sustainable energy solution. So, uh, providing that information, we can uh, calculate a lot and provide a lot of information. If you are uh, some solar installer or uh, you just develop uh, a um, uh, cars or developing a business it's pretty good idea uh, for uh, you to using that uh, api uh, and provides the best uh, information for your customer and about questions here i already have a slide about coverage so it's in americas and it's europe uh, japan australia and south africa so it's coverage for now but uh i just remind you this pretty new api is launched only in uh, 2023 years so i'm really hoping that yeah it will be like uh, more coverage in the world uh so 
And uh, let's talk about the next uh, two APIs called an air quality and pollen API. So um, it's all sad uh, to say, but uh, due to pollution and uh, various other factors, there is a concerning increase in uh, respiratory issues such as asthma, um, as well as uh, rise in uh, allergic reaction. It's a distressing trend and uh, underscored uh, the need for action. The, uh, to address this, we can utilize the air quality and pollen API to provide a healthier environment for people uh, by offering real-time information on air quality and pollen level. So if, uh, this data can help individuals make informed decision to protect their health and uh, well-being. So using that information, we uh, just can provide an information about uh, pollen uh, trees and uh, grass around. Uh, so and providing air quality, we can um, provide information about uh, air and uh, about pollution. Uh, it's um, uh, let's change a slide and talk about actually air quality. Uh, so here we can provide and also a hourly history about air quality in some uh, zones and also we can provide a uh, forecast using an uh, historical conditions and also we can provide an uh, heat maps with a dangerous zone uh, and uh, actually current conditions of course uh, it's uh, pretty uh, useful for some uh, government uh, companies um, and um, like a range of application and sectors including health and wellness application lifestyle platforms uh, for example uh, fitness trackers, uh, government uh, initiatives, uh, real estate, of course, because all of us just wanted to live in a better environment, uh, hotels and travel services, uh, as well as leisure, uh, leisure and uh, recreation activities. Uh, actually, by integration, air quality and pollen data, uh, this industry can provide uh, valuable insight and improve the overall experience for their user and client. Uh, so, uh, using that API, we just can provide an information about air quality and also for uh, health application, for example, we can provide information how to uh, work with that, uh, what uh, user uh, can to do, like and close the window, uh wet uh, the floor etc so it's a uh, pretty useful uh now because uh, it's so sad it's a lot of pollution and here we can use uh, that application uh so and uh, of course uh, it's a uh, really helpful information about uh how early history i really like it because using that we can create an analytics and uh, have an real information about situation around uh, in um, like an every hour. Uh, so, and uh, just in summary about uh, air quality uh, API. So available uh, feature, like I said, is an uh, hour history, is an heat maps, is an actionable recommendations, and uh, oh, I just forgot about it. It's an uh, pollutant details. It's really helpful because we uh, know what exactly is uh, pollutant so is it a co2 for example or something else uh, in the task uh, air quality information and forecast like i said before so it's pretty useful application and uh, we have to uh, care about uh, our health and health of our customers so it's uh, really good to have uh, information like that on our site and application and also of course we can monetize it and about coverage of course uh, it's pretty good uh, coverage in uh, most of americas and uh, europe australia new zealand japan and africa uh, so uh, and uh, next about uh, pollen api um, so 
It's uh, so sad about a lot of uh, people has an uh, allergy reaction for a different um, uh, pollen or different triggers and uh, using can pollen API we can provide and forecast uh, about uh, pollen pollution and we can provide and heat maps for example when we uh, some government uh, organization we can provide an information about situation in uh, city spark for example so here we can provide information for better roads using can uh, pollen api plus google maps roads so here we can provide the better uh, roads and uh, walking area for people who has uh, some uh, allergic reaction so it's uh, pretty useful uh, for uh, same uh, uh health and wellness application uh some uh, lifestyle uh platform some fitness uh, trackers and of course uh, for governments some travel hotels uh, etc uh, so using that information we just can help people uh, to live in uh, spring and uh, summer and provide a lot of information and using a heat map it really can provide information how uh, that people can uh, walk around without uh, any dangerous uh, situation so and summary so uh, about pollen api it's a daily forecast pollen index and uh, categories of uh, using that uh, API, we can provide an uh, pollen index and also we can uh, provide information about plan, uh, plan description and uh, allergency details. It's uh, also pretty useful when uh, customer uh, know already what uh, type of pollen they have an allergic reaction and you can just um, create a feature in your application where a customer can find that uh, uh, type of pollen and just uh, uh, using can roads uh, without uh, that uh, dangerous area so uh, it's pretty cool ideas we can find here to create our own application and also here we have an actionable recommendation uh, and about coverage mm -hmm. So uh, about pollen API, we have also pretty good uh, coverage around the world uh, to provide an uh, information about uh, pollen for allergic and uh, um, actually i just uh, uh wanted to say that uh, using that api we just can make and work better and provide a lot of information for our customer uh, plus make some money so it's uh, pretty good ideas for business uh and uh, here just some example of uh, usage and air quality api uh, so let's see uh, that movie and here we have an um, heat map using an application plus a routing api and here we can find in roads uh, without uh, going into the dangerous area so for, and also similar we can make uh, for walking roads and uh, for pollen uh, for example uh so here it is and it looks like that but um, Google Maps uh, have all APIs like a constructor, so if you can create your own ideas and you can create your own application, uh, whatever you want. Uh, and uh, next, and here we have also a few examples in a real world because uh, it just uh, talking about some uh, technical explanation, but we have to understand how to use it. And here are a few companies who already uh, use it API. It's uh, uh, my health. Uh, they provide information about uh, their quality, uh, about air quality around. And um, uh, here also Resmet um, uh, company who using can uh, pollen and air quality uh, API. And here you can see an really exciting numbers they provide information that uh, hospitalization reduced by 
57%. Can you imagine it? 57% because uh, people just understand where is their dangerous area and uh, just uh, can uh, find uh, different roads and uh, just uh, reduce the uh, hospitalization and dangerous situation. And also in uh, rescue, in color use, uh, reduced by 80%. Uh, four percent. Can you imagine it? It's really pretty good number. Uh, and in second uh, and third an application, it's uh, ALK. They also using an um, uh, pollen API and provide uh, a lot of useful information uh, about some dangerous area, about some uh, graph information and analytics, and also they provide uh, information how to manage uh, some symptoms, uh, etc. So uh, I really love that example. Uh, let's go ahead and here also actually similar. Um, information about uh, uh, park and here we can find the better roads without any dangerous areas and uh, uh, pollen or air quality uh, pollution uh, and of course real estate so for uh, find uh, uh, building or new home we uh, really want to understand about uh, area around and using an air quality and pollen uh, we can provide our customers the best information about uh, uh, environment around and uh, find the better uh, home for them uh, because you know for no one just wants to stay at home with allergic reaction or bad quality air etc and also like a real estate company just can uh, create an analytic based on air quality and pollen api and make prices by uh, based on that so here actually a lot of uh, possibilities and uh, business idea for monetization that application uh and uh, also like i said before here a really a huge amount of uh, updates in um, uh, Google Maps, uh, we don't have time to cover all of them, so you can contact especially with uh, your company needs, but uh, we will uh, just um, uh, summary talk about few of them. So first uh, of uh, updates, it's a uh, photorealistic 3D tiles, so uh, here we can uh, provide a uh, high resolution photorealistic uh, 3D tiles and it's really useful also for hotels, real estate and it's um, coverage more than 2,500 cities across 49 countries. So uh, here we can provide information also about environment around and can provide a you know, real picture uh, and uh, provide uh, user information about parks around, about hotels, but not just on the map, but in real view. And actually it's uh, pretty attractive because uh, users now uh, really love some interactive uh, things and uh, here you just can uh, care all uh, your users and provide the best uh, uh, result uh, by using maps. Uh, and second and uh, quite a similar one, it's a new uh, aerial view. Uh, so here uh, Google can provide information uh, from uh, bird uh, point of view. Actually, it's um, just uh, making by drones. And here we just can uh, provide a uh, video on area around. It's not a 3D, it's just a video. And uh, here, it's uh, really useful for uh, also real estate and uh, it's useful for some uh, shops who want to provide uh, information uh, about location. Actually, it's in for delivery uh, because uh, using an aerial view, we can provide information for our um, delivery, uh, the uh, best roads and uh, how to find the exact places. So, from, and uh, you know, for like a customer, I really love features like 
like that when you just uh, jump on site and here you can just walk around and find the place and uh, uh, when you uh, just visit the, the place you feel like you already have been here so it's work like that and it's pretty excited and of course new visualization features for uh, maps uh, javascript api actually uh, we had a provision webinar it was about uh, visualization and uh, it was pretty cool to talk about it you can see you can watch it on our youtube and now we talk about a uh, new features on uh, JavaScript APIs. So it's uh, quite of main uh, maps uh, APIs of before. Uh, Google Maps API just divided on uh, maps, roads, uh, and places. But now it's maps, roads, places, and environment. And uh, JavaScript in part of maps api it's a uh, main feature because uh, here a lot of possibilities and endpoints of using um, a new data-driven styling we can use and uh, customer markets you can use a new polygons and here you can see we can uh, just create some zones of uh, just imagine using a uh, javascript maps api and using can uh, Poland or uh, air quality API, we can just create like a uh, new zone and we can create some um, f zones for travel, for example, and we can provide some analytical information uh, for visualization. So uh, here a lot of possibilities and I will be excited to talk more about the, that uh, if you want to some uh, consultation later. And of course, roads API. Here, uh, a lot of updates, uh, especially in uh, prices and uh, in feature. And so uh, they uh, just improved in directional and distant matrix API uh, with uh, lower latency and uh, provide the more realistic roads uh, from a road vehicle and uh, location attributes uh, navigate uh, more sustainable. Uh, and optimize for full setting and um, it's pretty useful for some logistic and delivery companies because um, actually we have a uh, calculation that we have possibility to decrease uh, like an uh, full usage uh, for pretty good uh, numbers uh, so if, uh, it's um, if you're a logistic uh, uh, delivery company or you just have a delivery on taxi, please contact us and we will talk like in more detail about it. So here a lot of exciting features. And also they started to divide the uh, roads API to based and advanced. So for, uh, here you can find just better solution for your company. Uh, and uh, I just uh, let you talk Sasha about uh, real business cases in uh, Google Maps. Uh, so I'm really uh, happy to uh, provide information about updates and will be happy to uh, just uh, make um, uh, audit for your business and provide some best features um, because tracking updates and in innovation is so important and using a Google Maps service we can attract our customer and generate additional product value. value. So thank you for watching and uh, Sasha. Thank you, Julia. Hello, everyone. Uh, thank you for choosing to spend your time with us today. Uh, my name is Alexander Vakul and uh, I am sales executive at Cloudfresh and uh, my talk today focuses on how geospatial data helps businesses grow and innovate. And uh, I will cover some real examples for, of how using uh, location data can bring real benefits to your business. So let's get started. Uh, firstly, I would like to, co uh, to cover uh, four key benefits that Google offers through its mapping services and APIs. Uh, these aspects are crucial for understanding why choose Google as a provider. First off, uh, we talk about 
global coverage. Google Maps provides data access to nearly the entry surface uh, of the Earth, covering 99% uh, of the world. And this means that um, no matter where um, your users are, uh, you can reach them with up-to-date location information. Not, uh, next step uh, is rich dynamic content. Every day, uh, Google Maps receives our 50 million updates, covering data about 200 million businesses and places in 200 countries. And this makes um, the information you provide to your users uh, incredibly relevant and useful. Scalable performance is the third key aspect. Google's infrastructure allows you to reliably scale your services with high performance on a global level. This means you can grow and expand without worrying about the technical side. And uh, last but not least, is the similar uh, it's a familiar interface. Users worldwide uh, are already familiar with Google Maps interface used on both desktops on uh, mobile devices. This ensures high convenience and recognition for your user, improving their experience. Thanks to these four uh, key advantages, choosing Google as your partner for geospatial data not only improves the quality of your service, but also promotes its growth and innovation. Uh, many industries can benefit for, from leveraging Google Maps platform. However, today uh, we would like to focus on uh, these four industries, in particular its retail, transportation and logistics, financial service and real estate. Um, at Cloudfresh, we have extensive experience working across these sectors. And I'm going to show you three real life use cases for each one of these industries. And uh, let's start uh, with the retail industry. So uh, with uh, Google Maps features, geocoding and uh, geolocation, you can quickly determine the location of this user and show them in a real time the stories near them uh, that have the specific uh, items they are looking for. And it's not just on, on the map, but Google Maps with its familiar and easily recognizable interface and uh, your potential customer will see exactly where to find uh, needed items and how to get there and even how long uh, it will uh, it, 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 it will take and um, now let's move to the next use case so if you are in uh, retail chances are that you offer a delivery service. And with Google Maps platform, you can make the whole delivery process a lot less stressful for your customers. How? By providing the, them real-time updates regarding their delivery. By adding Google Maps API to your website or application, you can show your customers uh, the estimated delivery time along with how and when the order moved. And uh, now let's finish up with a big issue for all businesses in retail. It's cart abandonment. And guess what? Google Maps API can help you here as well. With this uh, autocomplete uh, feature, uh, you can take it, it much easier for your customer to enter correct billing and shipping uh, information, uh, which in turn means faster checkout, 
higher uh, conversion rates and well more sales for you and uh, uh, let's talk numbers for a second on your screen you can see a quote from a real retail business using google maps api uh, by maxeda diy group uh, i can definitely agree uh, this is a huge win making things easier for shoppers uh, doesn't just make them happier it actually helps you sell more yeah moving on the world of banks and money so let's explore some real world finserve use cases uh, using google maps api you can eliminate your customer or wondering where is the nearest atm or um, is my branch uh, open uh, bank branch open right now so google maps will give you your customer the answer to these questions and also um, add information that, you know, such as opening hours services offered uh, reviews ratings and, and much more as you can see, banks like uh, Sparkasa and Unicredit uh, are already utilizing these Google Map Maps features. And some um, businesses might want to take an extra step by adding Google Maps to your uh, mobile bank application. You can help your customers easily navigate uh, to your branches and ATMs by adding real-time traffic and ETA. Uh, if there is traffic on the way, uh, so or your customer is not sure of the best road, you will be there to support. This is uh, a whole new level to customer experience, right? And business like uh, SoCash are already using this feature driving their competitive advantage and uh, now let's talk about money spending solutions so if you are in one of such businesses you can utilize google maps to help your customers manage their budget more effectively by seeing where and how they spend their money with google maps product call it places uh, you can easily send insights and notifications to your users and show uh, on a map where certain spendings uh, happened in closing about financial service uh, cases i want to uh, share this quote by harry the ceo of uh, so cash so using google maps platform you can drive your customer experience forward and gain an, an advantage over your competitors so now let's move to the next industry it's transportation and uh, logistics so if you are running a logistic or transportation company uh, you most likely have a bench of moving leads and with Google Maps, uh, you can see uh, where all your vehicles are in real time on a map. Uh, you get to see your entry fleet visualization on a map, knowing exactly where they are at that, uh, at that moment. The next use case is about uh, delivery and shipments. With Google Maps, uh, you can dynamically track and show the status of shipments to your customers uh, as well as possible accurate delivery times you provide your customer which a chance to track their shipments in a real time on a map on your app or site uh, i'm sure many of you who use dpd uh, delivery have experience uh, experience the convenience of this feature firsthand 
And uh, last but not least, uh, Google Maps platform uh, helps businesses in logistics to manage the complexity uh, of a fleet of vehicles um, each with multiply uh, stops at warehouses, distribution centers, and customers. So uh, you can easily create efficient um, roads for up to 25 waypoints and dynamically update roads depending on conditions like traffic, tool roads, highways, and so on. And uh, here is a feedback by Luke, uh, founder and CEO of um, New Medic. So reduce wait time by 20 to 30 percent. Impressive, right? And uh, finally, we have the real estate industry. So if you are in the real uh, estate industry, you can leverage Google Maps API to make it easier for your customer to search for the most interesting apartments, houses, or offices. Uh, this is uh, turn helps them make more confident decision about where to live or work and improves their customer's experience with your, um, with your business. And with um, Google Maps platform, you can also create a search tool that visualize all available properties on the map and allows your customers to add filters, look around, zoom around uh, the areas that they are interested in. And the last case of real estate is visualizing available data for users on a map. Uh, this can include schools, environmental and um, natural disaster risk, and sales trends, or a familiar Google map. So all of this is uh, designed to make it easier for your users to make informed decisions about their future real estate. And um, here is what Jeff from Trulia say, uh, says about their experience working with Google Maps. This is all possible with Google Maps, and it's a great chance uh, for you to similarly leverage your business uh, hates. This uh, concludes my part about use cases, and I hope uh, you found it inspiring. And now I would like to briefly mention how we at Cloudfresh can help uh, you leverage the power of Google Maps for your businesses. Uh, we are experts in location-based uh, location uh, ser uh, servers, uh, servers, and uh, meaning we know exactly how to leverage Google Maps to benefit uh, you the most. And our approach is all about customization. We create solution that um, align perfectly with your uh, business goals. And we provide support and regular updates, ensuring your Google Maps integration stays up to date and boosting your efficiency and user experience. Plus, we offer training uh, for your tech teams and introduce AI-powered mapping features, setting your uh, ahead of the competition. And. Uh, over the years, uh, many businesses um, have trusted uh, uh, us with their Google Maps platform implementation, from banks uh, to retails, real estate, logistic. We are proud uh, to have worked with uh, top companies in all these industries. And um, now it's your chance to enhance your business with Google Maps platform, get in touch with us today to see uh, how these technologies can boost your business and improve customer experience. Thank you so much.
Thank you, Yulia. Thank you, Alexander, for sharing your knowledge and expertise. Um, now I would like to invite our audience to ask any questions they have. Uh, please use the chat in the right hand corner. And we actually already have one question. Um, can these new APIs be used for data enrichment? And I would like to ask Yulia to answer this question. Uh, for sure, I see Andrea already. Uh answer uh, and it's uh, really true you can use an api uh, to um, enrich uh, your data on your site but uh, i actually um, don't understand uh, what exactly you mean but uh, if you're talking about uh, just uh, enrich your own database so it's impossible by policy you just can't scrap data from google maps uh, for all data on your site you have to uh, call an api and file updated data here um yeah, you mean exactly this one. So if you can't uh, scrap and store uh, Google Maps uh, data in your database, it's uh, on policy. Uh, okay. Uh, and uh, next question, I using I uh, any form to this project? Uh, a lot of uh, customer use because um, for example some uh, health application when customer have a uh, problem uh, and uh, want to uh, uh, ask something uh, here is using an IE and uh, IE based uh, chatbots for example when you have an uh, health application and here are some problems uh, uh, about uh, air quality so here you can use an ai and provide an information uh how to uh, manage that situation and what to best uh, to do so yes so of course our customer and using an ai for making an um analytics also uh about um, just uh Pressing and uh, search information of uh, their maps and also information about uh, some charts, etc. So, uh, of course, yes, everyone using an AI now. Uh, okay. Uh, Yulia, maybe you can answer the question from Carolina. What are the best practices for optimizing performance when using Google Maps API in high traffic applications? Uh, yes, uh, for sure. Uh, so uh, here it's, uh, of course, the best of the best practice just using can Google environment. Uh, so uh, uh, here we can uh, use a uh, big query, we can use a um, Google Cloud, for example, and uh, using all that uh, features, we can create an really exciting application and uh, really fast application uh, so far uh, it's an uh, actually best uh, practice and also it's uh, pretty cool to uh, using an uh, cache uh, like it's uh, uh, added in uh, policy and also it's um, actually we can create an additional webinar to talking about uh, that because it's really like a big topic but uh, most like i said uh, in summary now it's in really using in google environment and also uh, using uh, and cache and also when you build your quote it's better to uh, read uh, and google maps documentation or just contact us because uh, it's better to read it before you develop a quote of course uh okay i guess sasha can answer on question about uh, cloud fresh yes we have a question what are the benefits of purchasing google maps through cloud fresh instead of buying directly from google yes so uh, by cooperating with cloud fresh uh, you will receive uh, access to a discount system um, payment uh, by invoice and uh, professional support through the journey with uh, google Maps solution 
Perfect. Thank you, Sasha. And I would like to remind everyone that we are offering this special offer for the um, free Google Maps strategy. So if you're interested in integrating Google Maps into your business or you're already using it and you would like to see what could be improved, uh, here's the link in the chat. Um, please feel free to um, claim this offer. And uh, we have a few more questions. Um, how does Google Maps API integrate with other Google services and APIs? Julia, maybe you could expand on this one. Oh, for sure. It's uh, integrating pretty well. So for, we can integrate in Google uh, Maps uh, API for uh, BigQuery, for example, is an uh, uh, already um, existing feature in uh, google and uh, also using can uh, google maps api in bigquery and uh, looker for example we can uh, provide a really um, great uh, analytic and statistic and also we can create and visualization whatever we want so here a lot of possibilities and uh, also of course we can use an uh, Google Cloud to store our code and uh, provide uh, uh, great service uh, and uh, of course uh, 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 sorry I just check all the all the questions uh, so and uh, using all that environment uh, we can just provide the best uh, solution and actually you can combine Google Maps API with everything and not just in uh, Google because it's work like a constructor you're just receiving some data and then you just could can uh, uh, put the data into your code and into your application uh, and uh, just uh, um, integrate it with some uh, other API but uh, one uh, point it's just impossible to use an uh, Google Maps API with other maps so it's in policy on uh, google maps because here um you know for, can be some broken code in other maps etc and uh, your customer just will think it's a problem on google uh, uh, map sites so of uh, only that restriction other one you can use it's like a constructor and uh, integrate it with whatever you want actually current when you have some uh, exact question, just uh, book a free uh, uh, session and we uh, will talk about uh, it um, like in more detail. Uh, oh, and I also see a really exciting question about um, Google Maps um, can locate and uh, track moving fleet. How would this be integrated? Uh, it's actually also a uh, big uh, team, so we can uh, make a different webinar about it. But in uh, summary, uh, Google Maps have uh, ready to use um, solution for uh, moving uh, fleet. Uh, so here you just have to uh, have some uh, GPS uh, uh, on your fleet and using that you can uh, track in all of them and uh, just create an analytics and manage uh, your fleet and also it's possible to uh, implement in uh, some uh, taxi um, companies and uh, tracking so a lot of company using can uh, track uh, track tracking and uh, using can uh, roads and direction to just uh, have an uh, best uh, logistic solution and uh, just save fuel uh, for example for uh, finding the best uh, roads uh, so if, uh, if you are interested in that question you can just uh, after webinar um, uh, make meet uh, with me and i will show you uh, exactly how to integrate that feature but uh, of course uh, google already have a package for uh, track uh, tracking thank you awesome thank you yulia uh, we have uh, one more question are there any apis coming up for water quality do you do you have such uh, insights mm -hmm. or guesses <laughs> uh, 
Not yet, uh, for sorry, but I'm sure uh, we, uh, Google is growing and providing new APIs. Uh, for now, they are uh, improving uh, existing APIs like in uh, solar and uh, air quality, because in solar, for example, not enough I think on the coverage. So that's it. And uh, just wait and um, just checking our site. I'm pretty sure we will just create a webinar if uh, it started to be true. Great, thank you. Yes, we will definitely uh, keep you updated. Uh, and we have one more um, question. Uh, can I also buy uh, Google Cloud through CloudFresh? And uh, I would like to ask uh, Sasha to expand on this one. Yeah, uh, thank you for this question. Um, so we are a Google Cloud premium partner, so you can buy Maps, Workspace, and Google Cloud, and not only that product, because we are partner of Microsoft, Okta, Zendesk, Asana. So please contact us. Great, thank you. Uh, okay, let's see if we have anything else. Uh, there is, I think, one last question. Um, obviously, Google Maps service has really great coverage, but there are many inaccuracies in the developing countries. Do you process this data? Uh, yes, uh, we are. We have contact in uh, Google. So, if you uh, have real problem and you are a customer, uh, we will fight for you with Google. And uh, it's big possibility we can uh, add the data. Perfect. Thank you, Julia. Thank you, Alexander. Um, I think that's it in terms of the questions. So thank you all for being um, so active. And as I promised in the beginning, we have the gifts for the most active participant. And I think this will be quite hard to decide. But Julia, who do you think oh. the most active today? Um. I don't know, like, and everyone was so active. Well, let's uh, think about some more interesting, like, um, the most interesting question. Huh. <laughs> mm. Oh my God, it's pretty hard. What is one question that really stood out? Uh, Let's, uh, let's, 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 uh, hmm. give me a second, <laughs> I just can't, oh. Yule is really intriguing everyone, you know. <laughs> uh, yeah, like a five, four, um, Okay, I'm choosing uh, Karen uh, Dixon because uh, here it's pretty interesting question about integrating uh, Google Maps with uh, other Google services and I really love questions like that. All right, perfect. Yes, Karen, um, congrats. Uh, it's been a tough uh, competition here, but <laughs> um, yes, but thank you to all of you who were active and asked questions. Uh, and uh, um, I would like to take a moment to remind you once again about a special offer, the free Google Maps strategy session. And uh, during this session, we will look specifically into your business model, and then Yulia will prepare a custom strategy that outlines how Google Maps can boost your ROI and improve your customer experience. So don't miss out, um, fill out the form by using this QR code and uh, uh, we will be in touch after the webinar. Thank you everyone. Once again, yeah, thank you all for joining. It's been our pleasure and uh, the webinar recording will be sent to you soon. And if you have any questions regarding Google Maps or any other cloud solutions, feel free to reach out to us at hi at cloudfresh.com. Thank you all. Thank you. Thank you.